I'd like to say thank you to Sophie. And Sophie, you look amazing today. I was speechless at the aisle, uh, that, you know, the top of the aisle today, which is not like me. You, you, you took my breath away today, and you always do. I'd also like to thank Sophie for doing such an amazing job for organising today. She's worked incredibly hard, even during such a difficult time. Your drive and determination are just a couple of the many things that I love about you. You support me in everything I do, and have pushed me past my own personal boundaries. And without you, I wouldn't be who I am or where I am today. You are my rock, my best friend, my soulmate, and now I'm even lucky enough to call you my wife too. Now to the bride and the most beautiful woman in the room, my daughter, Sophie. Sophie, you look absolutely stunning and a, pl and a pleasure to have you on my arm today. Sophie, I commend your strength and your courage with all that you have encountered this last 12 months, and yet you have managed to put this special day together. A strength and a beauty that you have inherited from your mother, but with one difference, my temper. Mum would have been very, very proud of you. Sophie, Mum and I wish you and Martin all the very best, health and happiness and a long fulfilled life together. And don't forget, I'm always there to help you both, if I can. One would have expected that. Something I did not see, Martin, from the start was what you brought with you. That something was a big, big heart. A kind nature and a cheerful personality and a genuine love for Sophie. Something Liz had seen from the start. One person I know who should be here today, but we're here being spirit, is my mum. She'd be so proud of the both of you today, words I can't even explain. I'm so glad that she was able to visit this venue and give it her sign of approval. I know how hard it must be for you, Soph, not having mum here today, but I can promise you she'll be looking down at how gorgeous you look on your big day. Martin, she was thrilled every day to see you and see Soph with a continuous smile on her face and it's down to you at how well you treat and look after Soph. We can all see by the photos in the front room and obviously here how happy we are all together and those memories will last a lifetime and I'm sure there's going to be many more to follow. And Lord, we remember the smiles and the laughter of those who have gone before us, who would have loved to have shared the joy and happiness of this day, but who are with us in spirit. We thank you, Lord, for the happy memories that they have left with us and the way that they have shaped our lives. And today we particularly remember Sophie's mum, Liz. Loving Lord, may you one day reunite us again in your eternal home where there is no more pain, no more tears or death, but only everlasting joy.
So from the moment we met, we clicked. It felt like destiny to me, like I'd known you my whole life. Everything changed for me in a heartbeat. And I haven't looked back since. There's been uh, no doubt in my mind. You were for me, and that was that. Somehow, I knew this was the girl I was going to marry. I was blown away by Sophie's beauty, intelligence, cheekiness and sass right from the off. I feel like the luckiest man on earth. I love you then, now and forever.